It's the most wonderful time of the year. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Vlogmas Day 21 and I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys on how you can stay tra on track for the holidays. Um, I know that it's usually a time that, you know, with a lot of eating, um, a lot of parties and uh, you're constantly going somewhere that, you know, has food and being surrounded and I don't know, the holidays just kind of make you feel like you want to eat uh, for whatever reason. Um, but I'm here to kind of help you. Uh, first thing is that you need to enjoy the holidays. Um, we basically are always on diets, um, you know, 363 days of the year. Um, so two days that you're not super strict on your diet is days of the year is not going to kill you. It's not going to make or break you. Um, so just really enjoy. During the holidays, it's supposed to be one of the most amazing, wonderful times of the year. And I feel like everyone is just so stressed that we don't sit down and take the time to really enjoy and focus and reflect on what the holidays are all about, which is being with your family, having a good time, reminiscing, reflecting on the year that has just gone by. But most importantly, it's sharing those memories with your family uh, and your loved ones because you never know when they're not gonna be here. My number one uh, advice that I would give. Another advice that I would give is you could try a little bit of intermittent fasting. Um, so you would just kind of, let's say you stop eating at around 8 o'clock at night um, the night before or even 10 o'clock. You wouldn't start eating until maybe 1, 2 o'clock p.m. the following day. Um, you could have water, um, tea, coffee without any cream. Um, and then you'll have that window of time between 2 and let's say 8 or 9 and that's when you would eat. Uh, so you kind of get the same calories that you're supposed to, but you kind of feel like you have more room to eat more because it's a, it's a smaller window of time. Another thing is definitely exercise. Don't stop exercising just because it's the holidays. Um, if you do have goals to reach, you know, exercising is going to help and it kind of gives you some wiggle room so you can enjoy the food. Um, another thing would be hydrate 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 there's gonna be a lot of drinking and a lot of food that if you are someone that has a goal in mind and constantly watching what they eat you're not used to it so you will dehydrate really fast and your body needs to be able to flush out these toxins that you're putting inside so definitely drink a lot of water that's very 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 important something else that I want to point out is don't make food the priority um, you're gonna have so much food around, but it's gonna go. Like it's not gonna, people, they come and go. Food's always gonna be there. So don't make it your number one priority. Maybe sit down with a cousin that you haven't seen in a couple months. Talk to them, see what's going on. Maybe you have a cousin that came, or a family member that came from the war. Talk to them, see what's going on. Someone might have just gotten married. Um, just really get to know your family. Maybe you'll find out something about them that you had no idea. In my family, we're a little bit, we go above and beyond a little bit. We are actually doing a Dancing with the Stars challenge, um, not challenge, competition. So each pair has to dance a tango and a hip hop. And we're also doing a dessert competition. So you see, it's fun things like that that you are not solely focused on the food because if you're bored you will focus on the food take away your focus from the food and really be in the moment enjoy your times because what wouldn't you rather have a better memory that hey i remember that christmas when i sat with uncle phil and uh we talked about sports 
all day or whatever you're gonna like you're gonna want those memories instead of I remember eating 20 brownies um, and it was really good and that was my Christmas yay you know what enjoy yourself don't be in a diet unless you really really need to you've got some competition or you've got some really big goal photo shoot that you've got to look good for and even then sometimes it's good to get out of the diet and the strictness and it kind of just like revamps your metabolism and shocks your body and you'll need that because when you're on a calorie deficit um your body is kind of like oh my gosh everything that we eat we kind of got to reserve it because we don't know when we're going to get fed again so this is kind of like oh wait we have so much food we can let go of things and then there you go you might even lose weight those are just some of my tips um you know take your own food if you want um if you don't know what they're gonna have take your own food and also something else that i would say is choose wisely like if you're in between uh if you really 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 want dessert like me i have a huge sweet tooth i might stay away from the other you know carby white rice for dinner and i might just have a salad with my meat and then my carb will be my um my dessert or you know if i'm gonna have a drink it might not be a very calorie a high calorie drink nothing creamy um or either or a drink or a dessert so just kind of choose wisely instead of just going crazy and eating everything that um that you have in sight Bring your your own food if that's something that you're kind of concerned with but if not, just enjoy the moment. It's the holiday, guys. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Am I not a good singer? So that's it for today. I hope this helps. Um, give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.